off because I know they might do something with my video. This is by Paul ha ha Paul Hardcastle. You guys might want to listen to it. It's called Can't Stop Now. It's an old song, old jam, back in the day. All right? Just to let you guys know, if my phone rings, I'm going to answer it. Okay? I'll put you guys on polls. But you're not going to be able to tell because it just starts back up where it began. But I'm just letting you know. I have to answer my phone case I hear from you know my dad or something like that I have to answer it so if it rings I apologize but that's the reason why I have to answer it okay so let's get busy here what, what spirit want to talk about today I, 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 got, I got some stuff for y'all um, I don't know if you guys seen the video <clears throat> I got out tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'm gonna be doing personal readings the readings are twenty dollars you know that's really really cheap you know, I know people strap for money and things like that. But now if you want to go ahead and, you know, get a personal reading, I'm going to do up to 10 cards. Uh, if I have to go a little further, I will. So don't worry about that. Um, I got a lot of you uh, already. Some of you just want to, uh, if you decide you want to just have it over the phone, you can do that. I'll still honor that if you want it over the phone. But I'm going to do it live <laughs> tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time. My cash app and everything is dollar sign I am simply love. I A M simply love. Okay? At my cash app. If you don't have cash app, just go ahead and use PayPal. But cash app I prefer first. Um twenty dollars, ten card spread or more. Okay, just depends on what comes out. And if I need more, I'll do more for you. But uh first come, first serve. If you want to stay anonymous. Uh, when you send me that, either via pay, uh, uh, Cash App or PayPal, just put it in the notes. What you want me to, call, what name you want me to call out? If you want to do it discreetly, okay. Uh, and again, I'll I'll do if you want to do it over the phone. You don't you know want it um, live or you won't be in the live. The live will replay. So if you don't make it there, okay, and you've done schedule your reading, I'm going to go ahead and read for you, and you just go back and listen to it, you know, in the replay, okay. So jump on that, you guys. Twenty dollars, ten card spread or more, can't beat that. Okay, don't be scared, don't be frightened. Now's the time that you need to know what you need to know. Okay, you really do. Now's the time. If you if you're wondering what's going on in your life, it'd be love. If you want work, it doesn't matter. You just want a few questions. Just just let me know uh, when you send the payment, what you want, or email me, whatever. S simply love zero six at gmail dot com. And yes. The, uh, it does have two S's in front of it. S simply love at gmail.com. S simply love zero six at gmail.com. Okay. So, yeah. That's tomorrow at 6 p.m. live, you guys. So, jump on it. Jump on it. Jump, 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 jump on it. Say, he ain't going to tell you no lies either. I'm going to tell you just what's up. Okay. So, just, just prepare for it. All right, Whew. go ahead and clear out these energies. Give me a second, y'all. How y'all doing? It's still cold, man. I got my heater on. Damn. Like, when is it going to let up? Like, no, enough's enough. Dang it. We're going to have a freaking summertime or what? Are we? I don't know. It was nice this afternoon. It just started getting chilly. I'll turn my heater on. Okay. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're doing well. Now, we're going to see what's going on here, okay, for the collective. This is for the collective. This is going to be a timeless video, okay? Okay, Spirit, what's the messages you have for the collective here today? What are the messages that you want them to receive today? 
Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, what are the messages that you want to deliver today? And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the energy. Thank you for the truth, because that's all we need nowadays is the truth. What's going on with the collective in their um, love life? What's going on? What do you want them to hear? What do you want them to know? I'm, 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 I'm hearing, I don't know why, I keep hearing this word crash dummy, okay, crash dummy, and I've been using dummy a, a, a minute, like it's not for the collective now, okay, y'all know I'm down for the collective, I'm talking about the karmic's energy, male or female, okay, not no masculine, divine masculine or whatever, or not no, you know, because every masculine is not divine by the things that they do. That's how you can tell. They're not no divine. There ain't no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no middle ground, no nothing. They ain't divine if they out here acting stupid, male or female. They freaking low vibrational energy. That's what it is. Okay. Mm, we got the narc. Narcissism. Some of y'all deal with somebody who's a narc. Okay, they're a narc. They they have narcissistic traits. Um, again, I have a video. Y'all have to go way back into my videos, and, and and I explain to you what a narc is. The only, just to make it a little simple, right now, a narc. How you can identify them? They are very plain and dull, and you know they um they're blank. Okay, they don't have no type of emotions like you can something can happen drastically and this narc you'll know they're uh, have narcissism because they won't show any emotions about it. they won't cry. They won't show it. They'll just act like everything's like, okay, like they're not going to have no compassion for you. They're not going to hug you. They're not going to do anything like that. They're crazy as fuck. Okay. That's how you know you got a narc. It's like they're nothing but a blank slate. Like they're just blank, dry. They don't have no nothing inside of them, no ambition, no nothing. And the narcs always go after people who are um, empaths. You'll know you're an empath because, you know, if you know you've been dating quite a few people. And by the way, it is your, that's your, um, that's what you're supposed to do. You got a job here on earth to do. You know, you're going to run. But you, in the end, you're going to get what the Spirit's going to um, gonna, uh, give, give you what you want, give you what you need, okay, when it comes to that. But your job is to actually wake these damn yarks up, okay? Try to anyway with your experience with them, okay? You just keep on being you. Don't let them change you at all. Don't make them feel, uh, make you feel bad about yourself because they do that. All they do is drink. They go to an empath who is the light, okay? And just look at it like this. You're the sun. They're the freaking moon, okay? Even at nighttime, yeah, you see the moon and it's bright. But the reason why it's bright is because the sun is behind it, shining on it. And that's what makes it bright. That's how a narc is. They, they use you, the light, to bring on uh, a light to them. They take your light and they take it out and they make it seem like they are the light. They steal your light. It's just like a vampire. If you watch vampire movies, y'all better watch these movies and look at it with the sermon and know that they're telling you the truth. They may be using monsters and shit, all that type of shit, but that's how people really are in this universe, okay? Uh, they just drain your energy. They steal your ideas. It's, it's just like they want to be you because they're they're just a blank, and um, they're a blank. And if you uh, withdraw your energy from them, uh, you you probably won't hear from them. They won't talk. They won't say nothing because their energy they you, they don't have you around with the with the energy, even if it's over the phone or you know uh, uh, um. If you're, you're talking face to face, whatever it may be, if that light, if they, if you turn your light off, which is withdrawing your energy, um, they're not going to, they don't have too much to say to you. Um, they're not going to talk. It's almost like they baby, a baby state. They have, it's like a big baby in an adult body. But just think of it like that. You're the light and they're the dark. And they still, they just try to take on your energy to make them shine. Because why? They are blanks. They're blank. They don't have nothing. They have to go around. And while they're in that state of, uh, you know, uh, you know, not speaking and things like that, they're plotting and planning their next victim. You know, they know that you're not going to tolerate it. So they go, you know, they prepare themselves for the next victim. They become, um... 
a serial dater, okay? They come become a serial dater because they can't be by themselves. They don't know how to be by themselves. They're a blank slate. Like I said, they all melted in the background. Don't nobody see them because they dry, dull, and boring, okay? That's what they are. And, um, and they, you know, they're the type that serial dates, you know, once you catch on to them and their shit, they'll just, you know, prep, get ready for the next one to be prepped to be, uh, uh, so they can drain their energy. Okay, that's what it is. All right, enough of that. Sleepy. Okay. <clears throat> shake up. I just said that, didn't I? Thank you, spirit. You know, you guys are here to shake these narcs up. Like, you know, like some of you, a lot of you, um, it's like a learning lesson. It's like, you know, trying to, it's like if you don't fall for their shenanigans, if you don't, if you don't, if you're the type that don't, won't put up with it, like you gave, you like, it's like, you shake them up. You shake them up. Or they're in a shake up state. Say if some of you not talking to this person or you haven't heard nothing or something like that or, you know, no communication. You know, that's in the sh they're in the shake up state right now. So uh, probably a lot of stuff is going through their mind because, see, they got to keep st they got to keep starting all over again. That's their shake up. When they start shaking up, they get they get scared. They get paranoid. You know, like they lose their throat chakras. Everything goes dim. on. Like I said, they get dim. They're a blank slate. They're like a canvas that you. You're the light that has to come there and draw on it. And then they take all that energy and they turn it on themselves. And, you know, they want to be the light. OK, they want to be the light over you and using your ideas, trying to be you, um, trying to get a, a woman to portray you. You know, this is how they operate. OK, they're snakes. Some of you are around some snakes. Be careful. OK, be careful. Here, you want me to read? Excuse me. Okay. Takes me a minute to get warm. Uh, <laughs> War of the Roses. <clears throat> I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie. If you haven't, check it out. Because <clears throat> they're at war with someone, okay? Whoever they're around is nothing but war. Uh, they're both narcissistic, okay? They're both very narcissistic and they're like button heads with each other. I don't, they get a kick out of this shit, I believe. I don't know, but it's crazy. It's like they both fighting for the you know, same things. They're both greedy. They're both selfish. You know, they just run, run into their damn selves. Whoever this person is, y'all wondering about, they, you know, they're having a, a lot of turbulence in their life night right now with whoever they're with. It's nothing but arguing, fussing, and fighting. Fighting over this, fighting over that. Who gonna have this? Who gonna have that? Who's who who is two egos fighting each other no every and you know they all they want to win it's a sick it's a sick situation just watch that picture war the roses y'all it's a very sick situation and the ending wasn't too great either wasn't a great end see they gambled you they gambled you for this person and now they're in a you know nothing but war with this person they had um I feel like they had a good thing with you, but I feel like you got tired of them or something like that. You just kind of like withdraw your energy. A lot of you are in the um, energy of being withdrawn, and a lot of you are in the energy of Saturn, where you know you're trying. You you feel like don't feel like you're left out there in the cold. All this was supposed to happen for a bigger purpose. So just hang in there. Don't. I can't tell you what to do. I'm just giving them messages, and Spirit is saying. Don't be bothered with this person anymore. This is your break. This is your getaway. This is your test. Yeah, see healing here too. Is, is some of you, they're going through some type of domestic violence. The cops may have been called to them. They may be in jail. Somebody may be in jail because of it. I feel like you can, with this war of roses, that's a dangerous, danger. Anything can happen. This is some serious throw down showdown here because somebody made the wrong choice they gambled something here they gambled you i feel like over some to someone else and they're not this just like a big it's just shake up here okay it's a big shake up it's a war it's not going to be a pretty thing you might hear about something about this person or the person and somebody might get hurt out of the situation somebody might end up getting hurt here you might hear about it, okay? 
See, didn't I just say thank you, spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Did you want me to do both these cards or just one? Yeah, here we're going to do both. Yep. I told y'all they were selfish and greedy. That's what a narc is. They're very selfish, very greedy. Both of these individuals are. Both of these individuals are selfish and greedy. And that's why they're going through the War of the Roses. They are fighting like hell. I mean, like hell. And like I said, I won't be surprised if you guys hear something about your person. All right? They like to play mind games. There's a bunch of mind games, a bunch of trickery, a bunch of mind fucking going on here, okay? With each, with them, the, the two. There's a lot of stuff going on and it's like, it's this is bad. This is really, really bad, y'all. So, that's what they doing and this is what they're going through you know for 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 gambling taking the you know throwing the dice out there see <laughs> throwing the dice out there getting the snake's card come up like they they ran into a snake or they're both snakes cuz it's got a, a s at the end of it so both of them are snakes you know both of them snakes look lies we tell and secrets we keep they're both keep they're both liars, and they both uh, sleep around on each other, keeping secrets from each other. That's what all this War of the Roses shit is. It's like some little kitty games. Like, these two are not developed too much mentally. There's something with them, or it's some childhood uh, stuff that both of them hasn't healed from, and that's why they're going through all of this. They're, they're in their pride and their ego. I feel like a lot of this is karma, okay? A lot of this is karma. Y'all sit tight, let them suffer their karma. And you know what? Heal yourself and go and move forward because Spirit got something good for you guys, a collective. Yeah. Get your at, uh, exit strategy, okay? Strategize. Use your mind here. Get out of your heart uh, chakras for now and use your mind because you're going to have to come up with an exit strategy, okay? You don't want to get in the middle of all of this, all right? Lay back, stay back. Occupy your time doing other things, heal yourself, meditate, uh, listen to the most high because this person that they dealing with is a bitch. They both may be bitches. That's all they doing is bitching, complaining, whining, and crying like two. It's like two little kids in a fucking playpen fighting at each other, fighting over toys. They could be a car. It could be anything. They just fighting over it. Two egotistic people just clashing and it's not a good thing. Johnny, Ronnie, Johnny, Ronnie, Ricky, and Mike poison. Y'all remember that song, uh, Johnny? So this person, again, they're fighting about uh, these lies and secrets that they're keeping. Um, these two karmics are sleeping around on one another. Like I said, playing tit for tat, these little baby games. Um, I think at one point it was Spirit is telling me they, you, they used you as a pawn to get this person back, you know, to keep, because for some reason, this person, and I don't think you guys even probably know that you probably know about this person, but you probably, you wasn't never worried about this person, whoever they was dealing with. You wasn't worried about them. You was minding your business, doing your own thing. And, but this person seemed like they had a problem with you for some reason. They don't even know you. Okay. Collective. They don't even know you, but they jealous of you. And, and every time this, See, like I said, they play mind games. They play mind games with each other, okay? They play mind games because they two big-ass fucking kids. I'm trying to tell y'all, they big-ass fucking kids. They ain't grown up. They act like two little toddlers, okay? That's what I'm seeing here, two toddlers. And they, uh, and when, when the mask, when, not the, when the male found out about you and seen all that you was about, okay? The male didn't really care about you. I'm trying to tell you, they didn't. They didn't care about you. I had to be real about this. Uh, they just used you as a pawn in their little fucked up mind games that they were playing with this karmic. For some reason, they, they fell in love with this karmic, and then all of a sudden it came from love to fighting and disagreements and money selfish greedy you know somebody probably said they was going to give somebody some money painted a big old picture for them and and then all of a sudden it didn't go that way all of a sudden they found out about johnny ronnie ricky and mike they found out about that they found out that the poison this person probably bought them some kind of std as well and you mean to tell me they still want to be involved? That go to show you the mentality. You got to, you know, hey, don't go back. Don't worry about this stuff. Let this stuff go. 
you know, let it go. It, uh, be, dealing with people like this is not worth your time or your energy. Somebody's selling drugs. For some of you, your person is selling drugs, and that may be something you didn't know about. Maybe that's what the lies, you know, they tell, the secrets that they keep, okay? Lies we tell, secrets we keep. Some of them may be gambling money away, okay? They may be a gambler, okay? You know, whoever they deal with, they get around. They both get around. They both, they both, you know, spirit, what spirit has done is, is trick these two. These two were trying to trick you, okay? I'm telling you, they was like a body and Clyde. They was coming up with all kind of, uh, and spirit revealed this to me. They was coming up with all kind of uh, plans and shit that they was going to do to you because you what, you're what? You're the empress, okay? You're all for the uh, queens in the debt. You have turned into the empress status you got it going on you got things going on you, you're pretty grounded um you don't do the type of things that these people do you don't so that's why they need your energy they was they was actually using your energy to do the things that they wanted to do again you were being used as a pawn and spirit was like okay all right that's what you want to do i'm going to pull them out of the equation it's karma time we get ready to whoop that ass and that's what's going on right now you guys that's what's happening don't worry about this person. Don't, you know, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Spirits, you know, <laughs> keep it moving is all I can say. Okay, spirit ancestors, what other? Yeah, keep it moving because your ideal mate is coming. Your ideal mate is coming. I said that earlier. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. Your ideal mate is coming. So get ready and prepare for that, okay? And, you know, meditate, like I said, ask Spirit and your guide for your the help, okay? Because I know you guys are hurting. I know you're hurting. I know. Some of you probably, you know, don't even care. Some of you probably don't care about this situation or this person. It's like, you know, enough's a damn enough. Spirit, uh, spirit is, you know, like separating. This is like the great awakening. So people are being separated. You know, it's kind of like people maybe got ghosted. It's not that they ghost you. It's just spirit blocked them from your energy. It's like because the big awakening is happening. They don't want to learn. You know, they just got to get left back. And all they're going to do is be fighting, having war to roses with everybody that they come in contact with. They'll, ne they'll always be shooken up. Oh, there'll always be drama and a shake up. You know, they always be gambling, you know, with their life and, and the choices that they make is always going to be something, okay? Because they're all selfish and greedy. They think about nobody but themselves. They like to play these little fucked up mind games with people, um, manipulation, um, you, you know, all kind of tactics. And again, I have to bring this back up. You got to realize that this person, whoever you were with, and you guys aren't talking, and you know, it's, it, it, they, they were scheming and plotting behind your back about what they were going to be getting from you. You best believe it. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. And it's going to be revealed to you, to you. I want you guys to hit the comment section. It's going to be revealed to you via your dreams. Somebody may tell you this. You may read about it in the newspaper. You're going to hear about this shit and it's going to flip your wig back, honey. Okay. <laughs> Look, and you're telling her, you better call Tyrone. You better call Tyrone. Call him. Better call him to come get your stuff. You better come get, let Tyrone come get your shit. Let your homeboy come get your shit, okay? Let him come get him, because you don't, love don't live here no fucking more, okay? Set via spirits, via the most high. You're not tolerating this stuff. Mm. Some of you may have found rubbers in your glove compartment in your car or their car you might have found some rubbers in there and you're like you with this person you're like we don't use rubber what the hell are these rubbers in here for and it, it don't take an einstein you don't even have to ask this person don't even ask them because it's ridiculous to ask them it's it's outright they busted they didn't them rubbers didn't walk in there 
okay? They didn't, rubbers don't have feet. They didn't walk in there, okay? And if he didn't have them, have them, somebody that he was with had them. And they might have put them in there on purpose so you could find them, okay? That's the street games, okay? Let's see what the street games. You got a lot of mind games and selfish, greedy people out here always trying to get over on the divine. But divine has switched, switched, Flip the script on these people. They thought they had a plan going down. And guess what? Spears like, I'm gonna make you think you're gonna get get and all of a sudden out of nowhere the the the, the curtains has came open. Okay. They into a lot of gossip. People are gossiping about this person and this relationship. Like I said, police probably get called over there. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of people taking stuff and, and things like that from it's just a lot of stuff. Somebody's, you know, these two people may be at a desperate state. Whatever their plan was, spirit is spirits kicking their ass right now for it. You know, They're, you know, it get it, it, they got it so fast to where they couldn't even come up with another plan to back the one that they had up the first the first time, whatever they was planning on doing, which was trying to take you down, collective. They were going to try to take you down. They were plotting on this. Together. I know it's hard to hear, and I know it's a hard pill to swallow, baby, but that's what was going on, and that's what's going on. But everything flipped on them, and they, didn't, they don't even look. The bitch. They're bitches. Did that come up before? They're a bunch of bitches, okay? They don't know how to get out there and get nothing themselves. They, if you, you know, they probably ain't got shit, okay? You got all the shit. You worked hard for your shit. You didn't go out here, you know, selling drugs. You know, you didn't go out here and, and gamble. You 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 did it your heart and, and the most high knows that you did. That's why they're protecting you. That's why they, all of this is going down right now on your behalf. So you are the empress or the emperor. Okay? That's who you are. And you know, some next time, you know, some of you, you know, watch what you pray for. Or this could be these two people. They need to watch what they pray. And this could be a P-R-E-Y as well. Because that's what I'm hearing. P-R-E-Y. Watch what you pray for. Because these two people were, were scheming and scamming against you. Uh, what they was going to get out of you for a future. And them two were going to hook back up with it. Like, like they were going to try to bring you down or something. Leave you in despair. Leave you all bewildered. You know? I'm telling you, that's what's happening. It's a shame. It's a shame. But this is what's happening. This is how people do. Okay. I feel like some of you have a lot of red flags and you just probably, you know, you just love this person. You want things to work out, you know, but in, in, in this whole process, I'm hearing spirit said they had to use you in order to shake up this foundation so that th they can bring karma on, okay? You know, yeah, this is this is a love come down situation. They had to break it all down, okay? They probably were married to this person all the while, never did tell you, all right? They probably were married to this person. And you're saying how they was married to each other and, you know, I used to go over there and this and that, this and that. Well, they, you know... <laughs> That's how players operate, man. That's how players operate. Okay, you know, they probably say, oh, they coming over and shit like that. And, you know, okay, well, you know, I see what we can get and all this type of stuff. See if I can, you know, you know, you know, work mind games on this person, you know, to plot the plan. All right. And um, get this person so, so out of their mind, you know, that we can get whatever we can get off of this person. I feel like they know you guys were a very sweet person, very giving, very kind. But these two karmics, okay, this male, female, uh, they were, they were preying on you. They had a plot and a plan. Yes, you went over there. Yes, you seen them and stuff like that. But they, the other person already knew it because the male was telling the female karmic, what the, the I feel like the female was telling the male karmic what to do, how to run this game. They were telling them this. They were telling them. So they were in agreement with he, you know, oh, oh, she's she's gonna be over this or he, she or he, oh, gonna be over this day and this and this and this and this and this. Okay, we, I'm just gonna start working on her, or you can work on her. You can call your practitioner. Tell me what I need to do, and so on and so forth. This was going on. Look, look, I used you to pull another bitch I wanted. See, I didn't. I just say that. Thank you, Spirit, again for confirmation. 
They use you to pull, to pull this stupid ass person in their life. And guess what? Spirit's going to give it to them. Spirit's giving it to them. Because look, they're having a war of the roses. Their plan didn't work out. And this motherfucker, they, the, the woman already dogged the man out. They already dogged him out. Already took him damn near to the bone with they shit, okay? I don't know if this person, I don't know what the fuck. He ran into his own self. Or she ran into, and she, they ran into their own self. But the other one, the woman was more seasoned at it, okay? She was more seasoned at it. And she was teaching this this masculine how to how to run game or in another case i'm hearing that the masculine learned a lot of these tactics from that karmic that he was with that dogged him out he learned this tactic see he started he was so selfish and so greedy he, he you know he got took so he would, in his mind, instead of healing himself from the situation, he was going to come back to you and play the, and run the same game. Isn't that sick? Isn't that sick? Sick and this, this is sickening. Very sick. My stomach is, is, is curling and shit. Okay. Really? There's some stick. This, but you know, spirit said, this is it. It's over. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. But some of y'all got to know before, because this person is going to try to come back and try to, you know, their little games, they're going to try one more little game, you know, and, but you guys either, you already know some of you don't even want to be bothered. Okay. And some of you may have this thing in the back of your mind. Oh, maybe we can, no, no, no. Get out, leave them alone, let them suffer because they put it on themselves. It didn't have nothing to do with you, but you were just a pawn in their little fucking sick ass stupid ass game that's what you were accept it and move on accept it and move on okay at least you know at least you're not in the dark anymore you have to know you have to know you have to come out of the darkness into the light okay spirit oh gosh let's get into the tarot you guys this is not the one i want where they at where they at where they at this is it. This is not the one. I just had them. Hmm. Give me a second, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had them right here in front of my face, and it's been happening quite a bit. The ones that I really want to use was right here. Oh, here they go, right here in front of my face. Woo, simply love, what's, how, what's up with you? Okay, spirit, what what the heck is going on? What are the messages you have to say? You know, I, I think I'm going to uh, name this uh, the crash dummy, okay? The crash dummy, that's what I'm going to name it. The crash dummies. And I'm going to try to, early tomorrow, I'm going to try to start you guys' uh, mid-month readings. They're going to be short, nothing really long. It's just mid-month, so that, you know, I can't be doing all this. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, the Empress here. I told you you guys were the empress, okay? The empress or the emperor. That's who you are. You exhibiting this, okay? You are on top, okay? Spirit has put you on top, okay? And, um, yeah, and you're going to get the love of your life, like the, like we said in the other cards here. You're going to get the love of your life. Maybe I shouldn't have put them up. You're going to have your two of cups. It's going to be divinely guided, this next person that comes along, Okay. Um, don't, I'm hearing spirits say, you know, why you working on yourself is going to actually calm you. Um, this is a, a less, a, a really big lesson here, not only for you, but for them too. They had a, a hard, a really hard lesson to learn whether they learn it or whatever that's on them. Okay. That's on them. This was divinely guided for you. Okay. It was divinely guided for you. And, um, to begin with the cancer Pisces Scorpio, um, what did I have here? Where is it at? Somebody's playing with me. Did I put it back in the deck? Yeah, you're going to have, 
you see the um the angel up top this is going to be a divine God. And some of you are going to end up marrying this person here. Oh, what I was saying is, you know, once this person come into your life, don't get jumped. I mean, even though it is going to be your divine partner and things like that, you want to experience the uh, dating and things like that and, and going out. You know, you have to, you really have to show this person because like any man you get, like if you jump right into it, take it from me, you jump right into it with them and, you know, put yourself in some like fantasy type world like they just going to look at you like you just like any other common ordinary woman but you're not it's just that some things that you had to learn about yourself you had to know how worthy you were and i feel like that was the lesson with this person okay some of you may be dealing with a virgo energy so again it's time to um this is a major arcana major event here it's time to um Heal yourself, okay? As this process before this person comes in, heal yourself. And like I said, get to know the person, date. Don't just jump in, oh, we in the bed and blase, blase. Because like I said, you know, this person's going to be madly, madly attracted to you guys, okay, collective? Madly attracted to you. Yes, it's going to be an instant, it's going to be an instant uh, spark between you two. Even though it is, and even though this is going to be your person, still hold back. Date the person. You know, go through the traditional type way. You know, let them know that you are worthy. Like, you know, and, and you know, you know, it doesn't, I don't, this person's not out looking for just sex and things like that. This, this person's not out to play games. This is a twin flame here. Now, when you have a twin flame union, that's where two souls uh, were brought together before and the contract was signed and you come here and you, you, you come together and you have this amazing, beautiful energy together. You create things together. Um, you know, you become like a power couple. Now, the rest of that stuff, soulmate and all that kind of stuff, you can have a whole bunch of soulmates in your life. You can have a whole bunch of... Uh, um, uh, what is it the other one people use? That's why, you know, titles is really not that important because some people get right on it and put and put themselves in a fantasy about it. But the twin flame or two hearts that beat as one, okay? Can I say that? The two hearts that beat as one is, is coming in for you here. But like I said, make sure you heal yourself, okay? Make sure you heal yourself. Take some time for yourself. Do some introspecting. Do the work before this person come in, Okay. And I do feel like this person, whoever you left out, is going to come back with something. They got a lot of drama going on. They're, you know, you already saw it. They got they, they got a lot of drama. A lot of they coming with a lot of baggage and a lot of drama. So, you know, avoid this person. Avoid them. You know, avoid them because they're, they're they're bringing nothing but drama. They may come in like this innocent person. Could be dealing you know, with a fire sign: Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Avoid this person. Heed the call. Heed the call. You are being warned, collective. Okay, spirit. What are the messages? Wow. Okay. Thank you. Okay, this person may come back drunk. You know what I'm saying? This person This person may come back, you know, they may see the computer there. They may have been, you know, kind of like spying on you or looking at I'm not even though this is the spy card, I'm reading the energy from what I'm feeling. This is this is a modern day type deck. It's not the uh, uh the original, okay? So, you know, which I like that it expands the readings more. Okay. So yeah, this person may come back drunk. Okay. Um, and they may have been looking at you with this person. They may come back drunk to say something because here's the drama right here. All right. So be careful of that. For some of you, they just mad because you got the new start on this relationship with the Ace of Cup. You learn to love yourself. You learn to um, appreciate who you are, putting yourself first. Um, healing, as I said, because dealing with someone like this person you were that you've been dealing with is it's been rough. It's been rough on you. You gave a lot. You you know you gave everything with the kindness of your heart. You didn't have no ill intentions, but this person did. You better believe it. They did. Okay, they did. Okay, so um, we got the moon card. 
Yeah, there's still going to be secrets. There's still going to be things hidden. They want to catch you while you sleep, okay? They want to come up on you while you sleep, and they want to come in here and pretend they're some kind of goddamn angel. I think you guys are hip to this game. I think you're hip to the game now. They always come in and try to catch you off guard. Like, you see that person sitting here, sleep, see them sleeping, okay? And they come at like them angels, but the, look at that big-ass moon on the top of their head. They're like, you know what? Caution, caution. You know, the animals are cautioning you. Look at this animal right here howling at the wolf, all right? They're trying to wake you up and say, wake up. Don't sleep on, don't sleep on this person. You know, they might come back with all this bullshit, you know, acting like they heavenly divine and they learned their lesson. Have you not heard this before? They may come at a different angle, okay? And watch if they come with something for you to drink. Don't drink it. Don't drink it, okay? Because they may, you know, have, passed, pass, have you passed out or something like that and try to have sex with you or something I'm hearing. So be careful of this person. You know, try to keep them out of your energy, period. Try to keep them out of your energy because they're going to try to fool you. This may be the new thing that they come up with. Like, okay, I'm going to, you know, make her think I got her some a nice bottle of wine or something like that. And I'm, they're going to have one of those, what they call a rupee in it or something. And they just may, you know, you know, I call it rape. If you, if they giving you something, you don't know that they giving you something. That's done on purpose. That's a charge right there. That's a charge. So be careful of this person. Be careful, y'all. And when you wake up, they're going to have all these wings and, you know, like, oh, we made love and all that kind of stuff. No, no, no. That's not what happened. They're going to stab you in the back. Look, you know, they've done it before. They're going to do it again. They're going to do it again. That's why, you know, the moon is here saying, be cautious. Don't sleep on this motherfucker because they up to some shit. They got a lot of drama and chaos going on in their life. They chose it. Let them deal with it. You move on because you are going to have the two of cups coming here. Okay. And you're going to have to focus on yourself, not this person. They wasn't focused on you. Why you want to focus on them? Don't do it. Don't do it because they're going to back. They, they come in to kill, steal, and destroy. They want to hurt you, okay? That's what they want to do. They want to hurt you, but they come in like, you know, like an angelistic type, like, oh, you know, they're really going to throw it on. And again, they may be coming up with a different tactic, and I don't like this tactic that I'm seeing here. It's like almost like they want to, you know, act like they bring you some wine or something like that. They may have something in there to knock you out, make love to you, or not even make love. That's rape. Okay, that's a date rate. So y'all, some of y'all be careful because they're going to end up, you know, betraying you anyway. Somebody might even try, li listen to my last video I just put out. You know, it had a lot of stuff about death. Somebody might even try to put you to sleep. Somebody might try to take you out of here. So be careful of that. You know, for some of you, just go ahead and put this thing to an end. Don't even let them in the door. Don't do nothing. Don't answer. Just let it go. Let it go. Sometimes with a person like this, you don't need to have any closure. You don't, you already know. You don't see too many red flags that you ignored because you, yeah, you love this person. You generally love them, but they, they had, they didn't have no love for you. You knew it. You knew it. You were getting used and abused. That's all they were doing. They, you were getting tricked by two different people for some of you it may be more by somebody that you that they told you they wasn't with and they ended it no no them two was two conniving motherfuckers and spirits gonna handle that ass as we speak best believe that look yeah they're gonna have a heartbreak here they're going through it right now yeah they're intertwined with one another here yes they are but there's definitely heartbreak here I'm also getting a message here that, you know, maybe this is your person, you know, intertwining with this person. <clears throat> they may give them something because they're fighting and carrying on and all this over, over stuff. Okay. Over things. And this person might bring some drink to them and give it to them, have them knocked out and do some stupid shit to them and then leave them betrayed. They're going to betray them, betray them again. They're going to betray them. This is a, 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 a terrible betrayal. Whatever's going on here, this is a terrible betrayal. You see that person down there dead as a doorknob? This is a terrible betrayal here. 
Somebody might get stabbed in the heart. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm hearing these messages. Somebody might get stabbed in the heart. And somebody, you need to be on guard, I feel. You need to be on guard. You need to watch it. This is something very heavy and serious here, you guys. Please don't. Please don't lunch on this situation. Please don't sleep on this shit. Please don't. Don't fall into the illusion of this person because they're throwing you a bunch of hogwash in a very different way that you've never had it before. They're going to say stuff that they've never said to you before that they should have been saying to you before. So that's the heads up. They're going to be saying stuff to you. All right. And put it in a form of it being extravagant because they still think you're they think you're stupid and you wasn't never stupid in this relationship. Anyway, all you were doing was just being yourself. You were being you, period. You were just being you. That's who you are. You know what you see is what you get. I, I get it. I get it. But this per they wasn't thinking of, of it like that. They thought you were stupid and they, you know, they felt like, you know, you they could just use you and take advantage of whatever it is for their own benefit because they're greedy. This person is greedy. Okay? And they're going to have a tower moment. They bring tower moments on their self over and over again. But you need to protect yourself from this situation, whatever they try to come back in, because spirit wants to hand out, is going, going to hand out this tower moment if it hasn't happened already. So who do we have out here? We got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We got the uh, two, okay, the three of swords and the, the ten. And then we got the... Um, the nine of swords or no, the eight of swords. I'm sorry. The eight of wands. That's a, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo and the tower. We are talking about, um, an Aries, but the, the shit's getting ready to hit the fan. And also I'm getting here too. You know, I'm sorry for the, the energy. I have to do it. I have to read it the way I'm and feel it the way I'm feeling the energy. Um, with this tower, Somebody might try to commit suicide here. That's how deep this shit is. Somebody might get hurt so bad. Like it's like I said, this is a terrible, 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 harsh ending here. You know, and I feel like for some of some of them, they may have they might have got uh stabbed in the heart. They may have to get rushed to the hospital. And um you guys, like I said, again, spirit wants you to protect yourself, keep your guards up here, and this somebody whoever may have done this to this person you know that for for one of the scenarios you know they may commit suicide these two both both of the i want you to again i want you to watch the movie um war of the roses at the end y'all gonna see simply loves angel gods and spirit stuff was was telling y'all the truth because this seems like a, I may call this the war of roses. I may do that war of roses because that's what this seems like. Thank you, spirit. It seems like the war of roses. The ending is just like is similar to this. The whole story is sim similar to it. So, and it could be called a crash dummy too because somebody was just stupid and you know this whatever happened, they put their self into that this situation. I'm sorry, they did. Sometimes you can't have empathy and sympathy, especially for people that have none for you. You have to think about all this, what this person took you through. And for some of you, I feel like, or a lot of you, y'all, you went through this as well. And now they're going through it. Now they're going through that. Now they get in the field. See, they may can't handle it. You know who you are. You are a survivor. You were always a survivor. You were always the light in this relationship. You were always the one, but they didn't make you feel that way because they were stealing your energy and putting it like on them. They were using you as a prop, okay? You were just a, a stage prop to them. I'm serious. You were a stage prop to make them look like they was all that and shit. It wasn't never them. It was always you. They used you to get hold of other women or men they was like looking at them like, oh boy, they got it. But their game didn't last too long in that situation because this person just dogged out. They just got what they could at them. They was like, that was there. I got what I could at them. I wasn't going to make this. But they was they was fucking with their mind just like how they was doing you. They had a, somebody came in and done the same thing to them. But this person really got this person. 
like I said, when you got to be careful what you do to people, because when, you know, that spiritual, uh, boomerang comes again it's going to come and it's going to stay for a while because you they get it tenfold okay they get it tenfold so that means that ass is grass period let me go close my windows y'all just a second just a second simply never be right back just one second i'm sorry it's getting dark all of a sudden i don't want nobody looking in my damn window I'll turn to Medea on these motherfuckers. I'll be Medea big time. Yes, I will. Okay. Okay. All these young kids walk by here, looking in people's windows. Okay, so then you know you you know you're gonna say goodbye to this person. Okay, for good, for good with the world card here. So the world, you know, it's all going to turn out in your favor. You're going to be able to put a rest to this um, situation. It's coming to an end. The chapter has closed and you're going into a whole new chapter and leaving all this drama, sick business that this, these people were trying to do. And you're going to live a happy life. But here's the five of swords. They the ones fucked it up. Again, you look inside, look at this picture and look at what this person's doing. And look at the people in the background walking away from this motherfucker because they're egotistic. They play mind games. They are a narcissist at its best. They're narcissistic. Um, and they the type that like to win at all costs, okay? They go around starting bombs and fire and drama all the damn time. And the two people in the background like, look, you know, you can have it, okay? You can have it. Sometimes you got to call it a loss. I feel like some of you got to call, you got to call it a loss. I feel like another snare I'm here, like don't get, don't get vengeance uh, for it. Some of y'all might feel like you want to get vengeance. You know, I know, I understand you want to get vengeance because like something like this happened to me. And I, if it, I was like, you know, back in my thirties and shit like that, this person, it, you know, would have been probably, I probably would have been sitting in jail, not even thinking because that's the mindset I used to have. Have. like you do something to me i'm gonna fuck you up like but you know you live and you learn because you you don't you just don't want to get back you, you know leave it as is you know what i'm saying leave this motherfucker as is okay let them have them little last two swords because that's they're not even gonna have that long they're not gonna have that long they're gonna have people constantly walking away from them with their little game they like to play and they're gonna always run into tower moments over and over this person is crazy as fuck this person crazy this person needs some serious help now i don't say that lightly i'm saying it it's the real deal this person don't know when to quit but spirit's gonna get rid of them is all i could say mm. And it's not just this person, it's a, a quite a few people like this in, 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 you know, in life, in this thing called life. You know, you're you're going to be released from the matrix. You're moving. I told you we're in the Great Awakening. Everything is being separated. Just like, Sol think, of the, think of the Solomon Gomorrah, okay? This is modern day Sol uh, Solomon Gomorrah. That's what it is. It's, it's just that simple. It's just history repeating itself. That's all it is. These people probably were here before because they never learned their lesson. They had to come back to this lifetime until they learned their fucking lesson and stop fucking with people. Okay. This person likes to manipulate and, and you know, and I said greedy, okay? Very, very greedy. Everywhere they go, they start drama. They really need to be on some type of medication or something like that. Or it may just be too late. This person might be too far gone. And you know how some, sometimes family members know when something's wrong with somebody and you try to keep it hush-hush because of other people. Fuck other people. Somebody here needs some help. And somebody, if they have to, you know, like, what do they call that? Where they kind of have to force them to do something before 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 they may you know even take their life or something like this pop this person probably been doing this so long their their subconscious mind is blocking that this is the right thing to do they may think that in their head that this is something they supposed to be doing 
This person that went over, they gone. I'm telling you, they gone. Okay, here's the seven of swords here. Okay, the five and the seven. When these two together like this, somebody is very, very narcissistic. Somebody here is very, they like I said, they just repeat. See, and I told you, I told you, look. There's two people in this seven of swords, okay? Very deceptive, very sneaky energy, very manipulative. I told you they was working with someone else, with you, with you. They was working with someone else, which is their the karmic that they just couldn't ever get away from because these two are very narcissistic and they try to feed off of one another. They get together and they go out and, and feed off of other people's energy and they come back together and they do some kind. It's some weird shit. It's some weird shit. And y'all ain't going to believe it when it come out. It's some weird, weird shit. That's why spirit had to disappear. Let them not come into your life anymore. They had to put them out of your life they had to just like vanish that's it you're done because spirit saw all this you know they were like very they were tricking you and they was doing a good job of it but you know spirit was in the background like i'm snap snap out of the dream you did your job well done my good and faithful faithful servant i'm going to give you what you what you need i'm going to hand it to you all right i'm going to hand it to you you're going to be happy you done what we needed you to do as an empath, as working for me, we always had your back. Don't think that you was in this by yourself. We saw everything. And I mean, we saw everything and we protected you through this whole situation, but we just needed you, my child. That's why we protected you because we needed you to do this with this person. So don't feel bad. I hope you got a clear, more understanding of what's going on here and what your mission was. You were born for this, believe me. You were born for this. You all right, you still standing. These two motherfuckers are going to jail. Or something very serious, serious is going to be happening to them. Very serious. It may end up like the War of Roses. Again, watch the movie. I'm not going to spill the beans. But when you watch it, you're going to be saying, yeah, Simply Loves, uh, uh, Simply Loves, a spirit guides were right on time and you're going to say i'm glad i dodged this bullet i'm glad i listened to spirit i'm glad i put my my i'm glad spirit put that see they you probably would have kept i, I mean I'm, I'm saying i'm saying for you empaths out there okay y'all do god's will you do. You do God's will. Not saying that you haven't been through anything in life, but most of the things you've been through in life was like, and leave your comments below. Wasn't people like all your life dogging you out, making you feel like something was wrong with you? No, you were star seed. You were brought here by the Most High. So you were protected this whole time and not even really knowing it until spirit sprung it on you who you really were. Spirit had to get you from around, uh, from around uh, per people places and things and and hermit you up to enlighten you to who you truly are you're not what other people say that you are you're not a laughing stock you are a healer and a helper to the most guy high god that's who you are and i, and I hope y'all see that who you are and you will be rewarded you're, it's not going it's now your rewards are, are coming right now right now so get ready for it and don't bring this person back into your life. Let it go. And I hope this reading helped you to understand why you had to let it go. I hope this reading helped you to understand who you truly are. Okay? You're a super girl. You're a super guy. Okay? You are you you are the prim of the prim. Okay? These people had to learn, and, and, and they meant learn this lifetime, but they're going to remember you the next time, and they're going to remember, and hopefully they don't repeat the cycle, and they'll be able to get out of the matrix. But right now, they're headed right back in the matrix, right back in it. And spirit has zapped that shit, put you in safety zone, and now the wars of the roses is beginning, okay? So if you hear about the stuff that I just said, don't be surprised. Just take it in right now and take it for take it for what it's worth because it's the truth. You will find out. You will be telling me. You will be letting me know in the comments or email something. You will. I know I'm going to hear from a lot of you. I already know. 
And after you see it, go back and look at the video again if you have to, collective. And every word that I'm saying here from spirit is, is, is happening. It's happening. All this right here is not in vain here, okay? I'm not here to play around, okay? I'm not here for jokey jokes. I'm not here to collect a whole bunch of money or anything. I'm here to help, you know? Because my day has come, all right? I survived the matrix, y'all. And I really, really hope that you do. And it took me a long time to find out who I am and what my mission was. All the while being safe. All the while being protected through all the bullshit that I went through. All the bullshit. And I just sit back sometime and I just say thank you. Thank you. And I'm honored. You know, I'm so honored to have that, uh, what you give to me most high. I really am. I really am. And I want to give this to someone else. I want to be um, the horn blower for other people that 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 to wake them up to who they truly are. And so they can go out there with courage and strength, with your head up, and know that all this while you were protected and it was your mission. You had to go through it. But now it's over. It's over. It's over. So we got the Wheel of Fortune. I just told you it's over. It's done. You got the Two of Cups here. All right. Now look. Now you're like, like I said, you're in the fifth dimension now. That's who you just like. God snapped his fingers. Like, don't get caught in the dark. Don't get caught in the dark. And a lot of y'all listen. So now look, the Wheel of Fortune, everything's turning in your favor. A lot of you want to get a, uh, be financially stable. Like I said, your love life. Okay. You're going to have like the whole package here. It's going to be, you, and, and when you think you're not even going to really think back on this situation because you're going to be busy too much having, having fun living your life with your mate, you know, and helping other people to both of you doing this together, supporting one another, you know, uplifting each other's spirits. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's what's up. Congratulations. And for y'all that just waking up to this video and hearing the words that I'm saying and it, it, it fits your, fits you, take heed. Don't, don't, don't go back. Don't go back. You come too far. Spirit is saying, don't go back. See, the three of coins, you two are going to collaborate again, possibly working together. You guys might meet this person at work. Okay. A Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Yeah. You two are going to be making plans together. Marriage. Marriage. I'm hearing marriage. I'm hearing bells. Bells. Some of you is going to be a traditional marriage. Some of you are just going to be like, we married. You know, our souls are together here. We don't need to sign a piece of paper. You know, we trust each other that much, okay? You know, even though we, you know, putting our things together, working together and all that, we we, we, we feel that energy together and we know we're not going to get over on each other. We know we don't have to do all that type of stuff, prenuptial, all that chaotic stuff. We don't have to do it because we feel each other. We got each other's back. Because why? It was sent by the most high. Okay. Wheel of fortune. It was sent from above. And you can best believe you can count on that. You don't have to be paranoid. You don't have to be worried no more. Everything's going to be smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. You want that? Then, then leave this person out of your life. Leave them out of your life because they're going to try one more trick because they know where they're headed. They know what their destiny is going to be for the shit that they done, especially to you. The the, the devious shit. This wasn't like no, you know, oh, I'm going to just, you know, cheat on him and, you know, you know, stuff like that. No, this goes deeper than that. This goes deeper than that. Again, you're going to come back to this video and you're going to be like, yeah, yeah, this is what's up. Yeah, yeah. Look, two of wands. Yeah, you're leaving the situation behind. You're already making plans, okay? This is making plans. Look, you two making plans together. You and your divine counterpart here are making plans together, okay? What y'all going to do? How you going to do it? Now, that's what's up. You ain't got to be confused, okay? Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to, oh, I love you and all this kind of stuff. And, oh, we're going to make a big uh, fantasy. That's what this other person was putting you in a fantasy world. They wasn't planning on doing nothing with you. Nothing. And I'm sorry to have to say it like that. 
And I know it's a bit triggering. I know that. But you have to know. You have to know this. Because I feel like some of you out there are going to be tempted to take this person back. And spirit is like, please. They're showing you here what they got for you on the other side. On the other side, babies. Okay? You know, some of you may need to get a spiritual cleansing here. You know, take your sea salt baths, get you some uh, some um, <clears throat> spiritual soap, like the um, black soap or, you know, a lot of people, I got, I had something around here, I forgot, I got it from someone, it's like cleansing soap, spiritual cleansing soap, but you can find that at any of the spiritual stores. Go ahead and get y'all some stuff and, and prepare to heal yourself because you're going to need it when you go to the other side. Leave this person behind. You know, maybe you have to say in your mind, you know, maybe, the, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I'll see you to, what do you say? Maybe I'll see you another lifetime. Maybe. But their stuff better be coming correct. It got to be right. And I feel like they, they, I feel like if they come back another lifetime, they're going to, they're going to know. And it's going to be up to them whether they repeat the cycle or not. Depends on who they karmically or, you know, be in like a type of family or, 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 or parents and things like that. And, you know, don't, you know, don't feel sorry for this person because <clears throat> in everyone's life, spirit comes in some way, shape or form. They come into your life, you know, through a people, places people, places, and things, and they ask you, look, we, it, they do some kind of one-on-one -on -one with you, like, a, look, we, we, we know what happened, we need to help you, to, we want you to heal, we'll help you if you just let us, because, you know, they can't do anything that they're not allowed to do, they can't, not without your permission, that's what free will is all about, but you have to understand there's consequences with your free will, whether it be good that you do or bad that you do, you have to suffer the consequences of your free will. All right. Some of it is not suffering. It just depends on what you've done. If you've done good in your life, you know what I'm saying? You've been you've been that soldier. You've been that, you know, that stand up person. You've been that light. So you're going to receive all of that tenfold. Now, if it's on the other way, like these people are here, then they're going to receive their karma tenfold. But they're trying to run away. From, there's no running away from it. It's done. <clears throat> it's done. The wheel has turned. And they pulling you out. Some of you already got pulled out and stuff like that. Congratulations. But some there, there's still still some stagnant energy that I'm seeing here that's going to have to um, end. Like I said, get your spiritual baths. Get your spiritual cleaning. Don't let this scare you. It's nothing to be scared of. What it is, what the scary thing about it to me is if you fall back into this situation again, that's the scary part. The scary part to me is not you, um, you know, moving forward, you know, the scary part to me, if you just like ignore this warning, like I said, they've been, don't feel sorry for this person because they've been warned several times in their lifetime. They had a chance to back off and heal themselves, but they refused to do it. See, see, look, I told you, y'all going to have the big packet. Look, real fortune. You're going to have the love of your life. Y'all going to, you know, do some kind of mad, you know, get together and, and, and create something here in this universe. OK. All right. But you, you, you're going to have to, you know, you know, get in hermit mode and, and clean yourself up here and get ready for it. Two of wands planning. OK. Three of wands working together with your soul may becoming that power couple, you know, and I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but and in a way it is. In a way, it is because it's something that you haven't experienced in your life. You always wanted this. You always, you know, you always wanted this. And, and now it's coming. And, I, you know, I know you had to bear your cross for it that we all do. We all have to bear our cross. We have to pick up our cross and bear our cross here. And sometimes on the way, we have to carry other people's crosses. That's, that's how it is sometimes. But in the end, you get the Ten of Pentacles. You get everything. You get everything that your heart desires, okay? Because, you know, like I said, being faithful, keeping it real, being yourself with people. Like, look, this is who I am, like it or not, you know? If I'm nice, you know, so what? I'm nice. This is just who I am. I'm giving. So what? I'm giving. That's just how I am. I ain't trying to take nothing from nobody, right? Isn't that what you guys are saying? You ain't trying to take nothing from nobody. 
these people just took your kindness for your weakness. Some of you, they just drained your energy of your light to make them puffed up, to make them, you know, you know, whether it be a guy or girl, just to get somebody else attention. When what they had right in front of their face was the light. And they could have, they could have grabbed that. Y'all could have grabbed that light together. And I know that's what y'all thinking in your mind. Like, can we still have this light? No, it's too late. It's too late. They put too many swords in your back. They had too many dangerous, evil plans. The Ace of Wands. So you're going to have a passionate new beginning here. Okay, so we got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got... um. Yeah, we got... Okay. Okay, Spirit, what are the other messages you want to give to the collective? What are the messages you want me to relay? This is beautiful. I'm not feeling that energy of where I want to cuss and stuff. <laughs> this is this is beautiful. I feel really mild-mannered about this because it's really, really beautiful. See, we have the Three of Swords here. The, the person that you've been, as you're having a new, brand new beginning, having it all crossed over, having having your luxury life, your spiritual life, because, you know, it, it's going to be a spiritual connection. So y'all going to be doing, you know, divinely things because you're divine. You're both divine. Okay. You're both divine. You got that heart beating as one. And this other person is going to, you know, be possibly be looking Their Karma might be looking at you like, keep, you know, they might have some kind of obsession where, you know, and this is the way spirit planned it for them to have an obsession over you. So that would be their karma to watch you have it all. Like what they tried to destroy. They're going to see you prosper. And that's probably their karma. And it's going to hurt them like hell. You best believe it is. Look, three of swords on top of three of swords. They're going to get, um, they're, it's, they're going to suffer really, really bad, y'all. Sorry to say they are. And it, it's not the time to feel, this is not the time to feel sorry for them. Because if you, like I told you the things that they, spirit, you know, is whether you hear it from them or see it from them, maybe not. Maybe this is all you need to know from, maybe they don't want you to go through there because look at this, look how dangerous these per people are. They're dangerous. They ain't got your best interests at heart at all. Dirty, low down. Okay. So maybe this is what you need. This is the closure you need right here. This is the exposure. Then again, you're probably going to hear about whatever's going on with the, these two people that try to scrutinize with you um, in the news or or some, a friend of them may tell you or something like that. But it's not, it just wasn't meant for you to see this shit right now. It was meant for you to be raised up, taken to the fifth dimension, and now everything's going to play out. They don't want you to be involved in all. They don't want you to see all that type of stuff. They don't want you to see it because what you may see it, it just may crush you to death. So don't worry about it. You and now, By the time you hear it, you're going to be with this person. This person is going to be able to comfort you. You know, they're going to give you the comfort that you need. You're not going to, you're not going to go through this alone. Remember that collective. You're not going through this alone. Not at all. This person's coming in here and they're just going to help you heal your heart. You're going to help heal each other's heart. Okay. See, you're getting it. See, you're having the emperor. I feel like crying, man. This is something. Wow. Sorry, y'all. But here's the emperor. That's who he is. That's the stand up guy. That's an Aries. That's who it possibly could be. Not necessarily. Not necessary, but this person is going to be kind and come back. Just you see how this person's standing in his 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 ground here. You see that this person ain't you know they're going to be very protective over you. That's probably something you're not used to, but you know get used to it because this person is going to be your god to you. They're going to treat you like a queen, the empress that you are, the empress that you deserve to be. Let me see if I can turn this light. This, these lights make it hot. Too far. Yeah. yeah, this is a hot one, boy. Okay, <laughs> we got all oh, the sun. See, 
this is on the flip side. This is in the fifth dimension, you guys, except this right here. You know, and I feel like, you know, you will have a broken heart um, some about this situation. I don't feel like it's going to be a big break because you're going to hear or see something about this person that you really, really cared about, really put your hopes into. Um, but when you hear about what the situation is, you you might not be that broken hearted. You, you're probably going to be pissed, but you're going to have somebody here to help you hold it together, sweethearts. All right. And you're going to experience the sun. You're going to have joy, happiness, love. You're going to have it all here. The sun is the best card to have. The sun is the most high. Okay. The sun is the most high. Excuse me, y'all. Then I'm going to finish your reading. I got to wipe my eyes. <sighs> Sorry about that, and I turned my fan on low. First, I'm hot, then I'm cold. I, you know, ain't no freaking, um, what they call that? I done been through all that stuff already. So it's not that. It's just reading. Okay, so we're going to get three more cards, and we're going to let you guys go. All right, five of wands. There's the five of wands again. You know, after seeing all this, their spirit is just saying still, you know, avoid the conflict. You know, somebody going to come along and try to stop you from moving forward. As I said for y'all, congratulations for y'all who all who, who's already there at the 5D. OK, you've been exalted. You've been taken, not exalted, but you've been, you know, taken over on the other side. For some of you, this is for some of you who is. You know, in the back of your mind, hopefully this reading will really awaken you and be aware that, you know, it's, it's time to just cut it loose. It's time to put an ending. It's time to end all this conflict and chaos that this person been putting in your life that some of the stuff you saw, some of it you didn't. But you're hearing about it today. All right. Get two more cards, Spirit. What else do you want to tell the collective? What else is it you want to tell the okay? What else is it you want to tell the collective? Thank you. All right, so we got temperance. Okay, keep yourself balanced. Okay, um, this I feel like is you know part of your rebirth. Okay, staying balanced, staying tempered. You know, easy as they go. It also talks about a rejuvenation. You know, rejuvenating. You're going to be rejuvenated. You know, with the sun being here, joy and happiness and love. You're going to be feeling all that energy. So keep your cool during these times and, and, and let the transition happen. We told everybody for a long time that this was coming. Well, it's here. All right. And Babylon will be destroyed. Okay. And see, death. There's going to be a lot of death. I can say that right now. There is going to be a lot of deaths. Like a lot. A lot. But then there's going to be transformation for you guys who, you know, like I said, been carrying your cross, has been doing the right things, uh, even the people that did not deserve it. And this person did not deserve it. Not one bit. Now that you know what they were really doing behind your back, other than what you, you know, they, they slipped up and let you see. This person was very cold. Both of these purse people were the same when they were plotting on you, okay? They were plotting and scheming and scamming on you, but, you know, it's 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 not going to work out in their favor. Hopefully, especially if you guys make the right decision, because like I said, the decision is yours. Let me give you Sky's um I'm going to have the fan on and the freaking heat on at the same time. How'd that go together? Well, it was working for me. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's working for me right now. No joke. Holy Spirit, what are the messages that you want to give the collective? Thank you for the messages that you already delivered. Thank you for, thank you for keeping me tempered on this. It's, the energies that came in, is I feel it. It's really subtle. 
you know, the message wasn't subtle at all. It was hard to deliver. But it had to be said, Spirit said. And I feel like you guys were ready for it. I feel like you get ready for it now because you know what's to come. And you'll know how to handle it. You'll know what to do. Hey, Spirit, what is the message? Thank you. It says, feast. Slow down and celebrate yourself. Yep. It's time. It's time. Slow down. Celebrate yourself. Because you are getting ready to have it all. You get ready to have it all, y'all. You know? Eat some nice fresh fruit and vegetables. And just chill. And sit on your throne. And, 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 and learn to love, learn, love yourself. Okay? Enjoy you. Okay, after while you're recovering from this situation and get yourself ready for nothing but the best. And I mean, simply love mean that. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Voyage. You already have all the, all the answers. Didn't I just say that? I, I'm telling you, Spirit gave y'all the answers. This is all you need to know. You don't need to go no further than this. You don't need to try to find out what this person doing. You don't need to contact them. You don't even need to wait for them. to Don't wait for them to contact you. Don't try to contact you. You get that kind of feeling just like, you know, go woosa, okay? Woosa, woosa, something, and get it off your mind on something and think about this reading again or watch it again. Don't let that get the best of you. All right, please don't. You already got the answers in this reading, you guys. Okay. Okay, I see two more cards over here. Spirit wants me to read for you right here. Bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. Yeah, okay. Remember the five of swords that came in? I'm sorry, the five of wands. The five of swords came up too. Yeah. Bitch fire. Okay. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to really stand strong against this person. I mean, like, you know, if they come, don't open the door, if they come by your house, if you feel, you know, this person getting aggressive, just call 911. 911 is, is ain't no joke in your town. Show them that 911 ain't no joke in your town. Or, you know, you got something there to defend yourself, do it because they on your property. You got the right, okay? Because I'm just saying spirits like you gotta be strong. You gotta stand up for yourself from this person. I'm trying to tell you you really really do and and like they said this is all the answers that you need right here in this reading you don't need to ask them because they ain't gonna do nothing but feed you a bunch of lies and fantasies like they always did they do not have your good interests at heart honey not at all here's two shark swim away from this situation look Y'all, I don't know what else to say. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't know. You got all the answers that you need right here in this reading for some of you that's, that know. You know what I'm talking about. You know who you are. Okay? You got to stand up for yourself this time and don't put up, tolerate the bullshit. You know? Just sit back. Enjoy yourself. The best is, 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 the best is coming. The best is coming. I'm sorry. It is. Well, I ain't sorry. I'm glad for you, but I hope you let it in. Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. See? Don't doubt yourself and don't, that's what I'm saying. You might not want to even contact this person as a con artist. They good at it. They've been doing this shit for a long damn time. You, you ain't the first rodeo that this person has been through with this trickery shit. You ain't the first rodeo. So, you know, you got to know your worth. They're not coming back for your worth. They're coming back for what you got. Okay. That's all it is. They coming back to screw up your mind. That's all they want to do. And before spirit lets this into you, they got this, they got to see that you're going to, all it takes is for you to just go through, just walk through, walk away, walk through, because you got all the answers right here, whoever this may be resonating with, okay? And if you need any further detail and you might, you don't think it's you or whatever, just, you know, get a reading. Like I said, tomorrow, 6 p.m., I'm going to be online and I'm going to be doing readings for $20. You can cash at me. I did put a video out. You can look at the description and see exactly what to do.
all right see exactly what to do 20 bucks for your life <clears throat> i'll be on it you know maybe one or two out there that don't want to hear the truth but you know what if you sacrifice yourself your life for this person you're going to wish you never did because when you turn around they're going to be gone and they're going to leave you in the mud scrabbling and scrubbing tell me i'm wrong tell me they ain't done this before they've done it before they don't have no, and i don't care what they say about they changed and all this type of shit don't even take your chances on it because like look their time has run out period it's time to move on the fifth dimension is here all right and it's here for those who want it if you don't want it it will pass you by and you will regret it there's your reading for you I hope you guys enjoyed the reading i hope you guys take um heed to what's going on here you know let me know in the comments how you feel about it if it's you and things like that or email me you always can email me okay and like i said join me tomorrow at six and um if you like that reading i'm gonna do a 10 card spread or more it just depends on what comes out if, the, if it's you know not totally clearly clear clear <laughs> by the 10 card spread i you know may pull a few some of you if you like to, i'm still honored if you like to talk to me over the phone i got a few people that wanted to do that instead of it online and um i got a few so far that wants to do it online so if i don't get the amount that i really want online i just may go ahead um, and schedule everybody for a phone call reading and I'll put that out if if I decide that because a lot of people That um that already done signed up for it wants to talk on the phone and I got quite a few So I had to schedule those out scattered them out and so far I just got a few that's going to come online and listen to their reading so you know, either way it goes, still honored for $20, and, and I'll be able to talk to you guys, okay? So I wish you guys a good one, um, and uh, be careful. Keep your eyes open. Don't be sleep to this beast, because they are coming to gobble you up, literally. Take care, you guys. Bye. Don't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe the video. Please like the video on your way out subscribe if you like to join my channel come be a membership because you get free readings every month for questions and stuff like that and there's a whole bunch of other goodies in there you just have to go in there and look at it okay i appreciate you guys and love you so much bye